YouTube world. I'm speaking to you on camera today um, because there's nobody in the house and I've suddenly realised then that my dishwasher's on in the background. But I was watching Sarah Max videos, one of Sarah Max videos a couple of weeks ago and she had her washer on in the background so if it's okay for her, it's definitely okay for me. So today, what am I doing? I'm doing a seascape. Um, and this is a wedding present. My daughter's going to a wedding and she wants to give the bride a uh, one of my paintings. Now, the bride hinted that she liked these paintings that I've done and, and they're, they're sold. So, um, trying to recreate something in fluid art is, is never easy. <laughs> so, I, but I do have leftover colours and they're all aqua green blues um, of some description. You don't need a lot of paint for this technique. If you want to know about my cell activators, then look at the description below. Um, so I am using, this is my normal pour, pourer medium, which is PVA glue, very cheap here in the UK. Um, this one is Aussie Flow Troll. Um, now, if you're in the UK, Where's my if you're in the UK, um, I will put a link to where I get um, this from, Acrylic Pouring Supplies Co.uk. Um, and I will be doing some experiments with this further. At the moment, I try and eke it out because I only really use it as a cell activator. Um, if you haven't got any Aussie Flow Troll, I guess that's where you you would consider using silicone. I don't use silicone um, because of the cleaning afterwards. Having said that, I might do in the future. The jury's out. Anyway, I waffle. Those are my colours, okay? I'm not quite sure what technique I'm going to do. Actually, I might layer a cup up. I might do a combination of both. Um, but one of my flow extenders my sorry cell activators and i don't know how it's going to work is this is just titanium white look at the description below but i've actually added some extender um in there i don't know why see what it does it it, it increases basically it's a bit like a pouring medium i guess Increases and extends paint volume economically. So I guess if you want more paint, your paint to go further, you put this in. I've had it lying around for ages. We'll see what it does. It probably won't do anything. And this is my spray varnish activator. We we will see. <laughs> I'm experimenting today. So it's a good thing to do in a wedding present, isn't it? And this is my base mix, which is 50-50 house paint. Um titanium white which is quite fluid all my paints today are on the fluid side actually I've been working with thicker paints recently but these are left over and for this technique I think it's okay to have the paints on the fluid side Okay. I've also got some 24k gold lying around. Now, last time I used this, I didn't shake it and it split. So I'm just going to let that settle now. So the name of the game, white negative space, ribbons of colour, then swipe through with various um, cell activators to see what kind of effects I get. At the back of my mind, I think I'd quite like to do some chain pulls, but we will see, shall we? We'll see what happens. I'm gonna layer a cup up as well. So I'm just gonna layer a little silicone cup up for the base. I don't want a lot of paint, a bit more dark. So I always like to do dark colours at the bottom of just like a pour. 
I know that probably if you looked doing a beach scene, it'd be completely different. The dark colours are more at the top, aren't they? Let's see how this goes. That's all I want there. What I'm going to do. See, already I like this here. Obviously, it was just, I layered a cup, it was just a way of getting some movement into the water there. So I'm just gonna clean my hands, take a step back and have a think about what I'm gonna do with it. So you might have thought, well, all she's done is slap a load of paint on the canvas randomly, and that's exactly what I did because I don't want to be so careful. I've, I've mentioned it in my videos before, I don't want to be so constrained. I want to be able to have freedom and movement. And the only way you get that sometimes is if you just, just abandon yourself. What am I talking about? Abandon yourself to the canvas. Yeah. It's early Sunday morning. I've not even had any alcohol. Right, I think this is my Aussie Flow Troll X um, cell activator, so let's see what happens, shall we? Yay! Okay. So I don't like to swipe over the whole thing. I, I like to leave bits clear. And I'm quite happy to go through with the same piece of kitchen roll. Begin to use it like a paintbrush because don't forget this base has got it's 50 50 house paint so it will give different effects again as it dries so 
So now I'm going to go for my var. I don't. Mm. I'll go for my varnish one. See what that does. This is my titanium white with my normal pouring medium with a few sprays of varnish. And I'm hoping that this will just do something completely different to the Aussie Flow Troll. Go in slowly first. Yeah, so this will sink more. crazy down here. <laughs> don't really want that to do too much more actually. It's so hot in the UK here at the moment. I'm very conscious that actually this might dry very quickly. So this is just the normal paint. I haven't actually, um, no cell activator in that. There. Sometimes you just need to calm things down a little bit, go a little bit haywire. Which isn't so good, is it? Let's see what the. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Ah. Let's see what the. Uh, extender does. I don't, maybe it won't do anything. Let's just put it through here. Hmm. I really, see, I really like the subtle effects that you can get. I don't always want big juicy cells or lacing. Oh, that's producing some beautiful, delicate. So this is big, okay? The um, varnish, again, gives you more delicate and it sinks. And, and this, the flow extender, extender is, um, Producing some slightly different effects again. Feel as if I want a bit more gold in the base. Whoops. I am very happy with this. I'm walking away. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted to do another one. Should I do another one? I've got the paint. I have a canvas here. All prepped and ready. Now, I use frog tape on the back now. I've gone through all sorts of various things, from picture tape to gaffer tape to frog tape. I'm at frog tape at the moment. It still bleeds through a little bit. But where, you, where I pick the canvas up, I've started to tape further in, so that hopefully I don't get the, the backs too mucky. So the weather in the UK, I think I've said that, it's scorching, we've got a heat wave, and we live quite close to the beach. And the whole world, what feels like the whole world, has gone down to the beach over the last few days. They've actually closed the roads, so you can't get near the beach because it's so packed. So we went down this morning, took our coffee at six o'clock this morning. 
it is the perfect time to go to the beach. Absolutely perfect. Just beginning to wake up. And then we were came away at around, oh, I'd say, uh, we're only down there an hour, just as we were coming away. Because obviously we're locals, we know all the best places to park. All the car parks were beginning to be chocker blocker at that time in the morning. I guess with COVID, people can't actually go and do many things, can they? And the weather has been so shocking, so appalling recently. Anyway, stop waffling. Stop waffling. the movement in the water, the lacing does start to get a little bit crazy. Um, the gold there does sink a little bit and I do end up swiping through that bit there again off camera. So this is the next day. I just, <laughs> you know, paintings in the UK normally take weeks to dry. It's so sunny here. Sun's streaming through the windows. It's dry. It's been less than 24 hours. <laughs> I probably wouldn't varnish it yet. Um, but I did swipe through this one again just here because it was going a little bit too crazy. But you can do that, it's okay. But I've lost my gold. But what I'm going to do with this one is... Um, I don't know about the other one, is add up some gold leaf. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but it's dried beautifully. I, I just love those colours together, the aqua, iridescent colours. <clears throat> really cool effects here. That was the uh, the varnish, the varnish added to the paint as a cell activator. When I say cell activator, obviously it's done some really cool effects there. And this one, if I could get it off, <clears throat> it's just like water. 
How that happened, I have no idea. If I try to create it again, I don't think I could. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go. Um, this one as well, I swipe through there. Again, it's just getting a little bit too bubbly. And again, I lost the gold there. Obviously, gold, gold is quite heavy and it will sink. Um, and it, it, it reacts to the, the house paint background, but it's kind of a sandy texture. But I probably will add a little bit of gold leaf there as well. I'm not quite sure yet. So it will be a quick time lapse. <coughs> So the end result, I purposely applied the gold leaf in such a random manner, I wanted it to look uh, kind of graduated around the edges, I wanted it to look um, a little bit more random to fit in with painting. Sometimes with gold leaf it can be very solid. So I just applied the glue in like a crisscross fashion with my paintbrush quite randomly and then roll to the gold leaf on afterwards so I'm definitely going to be doing that again